Hey, what's up everyone and good morning. Uh, welcome to today's Webflow Jam session. Uh, today we do have quite a, quite a bit to review and we're gonna be working on this left side here for the five minute jam session. Uh, so first let's get into the review. So here I'll go into uh, previewing the site first. And yesterday we worked on changing the slide on hover and we also worked on applying the, the hover effect to each panel when we change slides. Um, so one thing that I wanna change is the easing for the panels. And we also can remove the hover effect uh, interaction. And I'll go over that in, in a moment. Um, and then we'll add the last panel here on, on the last slide to kind of showcase a bit more of what I did yesterday. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing I wanna do, um, yesterday what I realized when I applied the slide interactions. Um, I used an easing of ease and I want to use ease out. Um, I used ease out for all of these animations in the nav items and I just want to keep it consistent. Um, so yesterday, let's see, I'll go into the navigator. Um, yesterday I applied the correct easing for slides one, two, three. Uh, yeah, one through three. So I'll apply it to four so you can see what I did. So I'll go to interactions, slide uh, four in, and then I'll just select these four and just apply the easing of ease out. So you can select multiple uh, timed actions and apply an easing um, to multiple at the same time. So those have ease out. And now let's apply the slider interaction to this last one. So it's kind of a, a review from yesterday. So I'll go to slide five, uh, go to the interactions and I'll add a slider change interaction. I'll start an animation and I'll duplicate slide four in. So duplicate, and then I'll click here, and I'll call this slide five, slide five in. And then all I have to do here, so yesterday I didn't even need to go into the, into the navigator. I could just right click, change target, and then click on the, the correct elements. So here I'll click on this plus icon. Here I'll click on the horizontal line here, and then right click, change target, and here I'll click on the vertical line. And then I'll go ahead and select all of these and make sure it's set to selected element rather than class. And then it has an easing of ease out, looks good. And then for slider out of view, we'll start an animation. Um, I'll duplicate slide five in and we'll click it here and then I'll say slide five out, all right? And then um, here I'll just change the background color to transparent, uh, the plus icon, set it to transparent, and the background color here, I'll change it to white. So this is kind of a, a review from yesterday. This is what I did to the first three slides, or the first four, and then I just left this last one so we could review again uh, today. All right, so that looks good. So now if I publish, and we'll preview in just a second. So I'll preview and so now all the slides have that uh, panel effect when I change the slide. Nice. So the other thing I noticed, um, now that we have the panels appearing on slide and we added that custom code to change the slide on hover, the panels will actually appear or will appear darker on slide change. So we don't need them to appear on hover. So we can actually go into the right panel and delete this mouse hover interaction. So I'll just delete this here and delete it for all of them. So delete interaction. So it doesn't have that. And I can also remove the hover interaction from the right panel. So I can just select hover in the, uh, in the states up here and then just hold down option and click on color. All right, so that just makes it a little bit cleaner. Um, so we don't have multiple interactions for the same element. So now I can just go through, we have the nice effect. And because the custom code is changing slides on hover, the slider effect kicks in for each panel. All right, looks awesome. So we just kind of simplified the site simply by using the slider change interaction, and we don't have uh, many other ones uh, applied. All right, cool. So that was kind of a long review, but I did want to go over that just to clean it up a bit. And now we can start with today's five minute jam session. Um, so yeah, today we'll just, uh, create this left side here and hopefully um, yeah we'll add a slider here and hopefully some text in here uh, so yeah let's get started so I'll go into Webflow I'll start the five minutes 
and awesome. So the first thing I want to do for this left panel is I want to make it a little bit taller. So I'm going to set the height um, here. So I'm going to, for the sizing, I'm going to say shrink if needed and just set a height of like 60%. Nice. Or maybe 55. Uh, because I do notice uh, in Figma, this section is a little bit taller than this section. So that looks good. Um, and then for this headphones logo wrapper, I'm going to set it to a position of absolute and place it in the top left. All right, that looks good. Um, so now in the left uh, panel, I'll hit Command K, add a div block. And also for this left panel one, we'll set a flex setting of horizontal center center. Awesome. So this is going to be the, um, I'll just say heading wrapper. And inside of here, we'll add a heading. So I'll hit Command K. I'll add a heading and I'll call this, it's going to be an H1. And I'll call this uh, main heading. Awesome. I won't apply it to the global tags because uh, it's just a one page site. So we'll just add a class name, call it main heading. And then uh, we'll use Rubik for the font. So here I'll say uh, Rubik and we'll make it Rubik uh, light. And that looks good. And then we'll say BO play. Nice. And so let me see. Let me grab the Figma file. So it's BO play H4. And maybe I'll make it a little bit larger. Maybe something like that. Cool. And then I'll say uh, H4. Cool. And then for this H4, I'll make it a span. And then I'll call this um, H uh, heading H4. Cool. And I'll make this a lot smaller. And let's see. And that's a capital H here. H4. And then I'll just use, let's see, let's make it display block or uh, span here. I'll set it to relative, see if I can move it. Yep. So we'll do something like that and I'll make it even a bit smaller. Um, so let's do, let's do like 22. That looks pretty good. All right, cool. So we have that um, and let me just move it a bit to the right as well. Nice. All right, that looks pretty good. So we have the heading and then I'll go ahead and add another text block. And yeah, for the left panel, let's make it vertical instead of horizontal. Nice. And let's see, so let me grab this text uh, right in here. So I'll copy that and I'll paste in here. Nice. And then for left panel, let's make it instead of center, we'll just drag it to the right there. And that looks good. So let me see here. So then for the heading wrapper, actually, let me place this in the heading wrapper. Nice. Cool. The heading wrapper, I'll give it some margin from the left, maybe like 50. And nice. Actually, it's aligned with the headphone. So I'll say 20. Cool. Perfect, so this is aligned with these dots up here. Nice, and then for this here, let's see. Let's see, the color is 5555.8. We also wanna change the font color, so we'll just say heading text. All right, so it's mostly a lot of styling today. I'll say Rubik and light, and then the color, let's change it to RGB, 51. That looks good, and 80, awesome, and then I'll just, Give this a specific, or add some margin to the right of this, maybe 40. Yeah, maybe 60, that looks good. Maybe, let's try 80. Yeah, I think that works. Cool, so we have that, and awesome. So that looks good, we have the text there. So let's go ahead and add the arrows in here, and kind of, um, yeah, play with this a little bit. Those circles look a little bit too large as well, so we're gonna play with that. So in each slider arrow, um, I'll add an image, and I'll choose an image, and then I'll grab the left arrow, and let's make it 20 by, nope, that's too large, 10 by 10, nice. And for the slider arrow, I'll give it a flux setting of center, center, nice. And then, yeah, let's make it a little bit larger um, maybe 15. 
cool so there's my time um, we'll do like one more minute just to style these arrows nice so there we have that arrow and I'll call this um, arrow left and then here we'll add an image and I'll choose the arrow right again 15 by 15 and we'll set a flux setting to the circle here nice um, and I'll call this right arrow oops or arrow right cool so we have that and then these circles they feel a little bit large to me so let's do let's do 35 by 35 that looks pretty good uh, 35 by 35 nice all right cool so we have the arrows and let's just bring them up a little bit more maybe let's do 60 for the margin bottom and nice awesome <clears throat> so that's that's looking good so let's go ahead and add a slider in here so I'll go ahead and add a slider right in here and for the slider we'll set it to 100% so it fills it and nice and then we'll add we'll add five slides in here and then we'll also give this slider um, the clot the ID of bo play slider so that the code gets applied to the slider as well all right so that's it for what we'll be doing today so i'll go ahead and publish and preview all right nice so we have the arrows and notice that this slider is changing as well because we gave it the, the id bo play sli slider um, so it's changing along with this this slide here cool so tomorrow we'll add the text in here and that should be fun so it's looking like we're almost uh, to completion with the desktop version of the site um, after it's completed we'll move on to the tablet and mobile versions and then we'll add some larger breakpoints as well to make sure it looks good on larger breakpoints cool so yeah that's it for today's jam session um, so yeah just my little plug here at the end for templates um, yeah, if you want to get started quickly with webflow I have quite a few templates here um, that you can take a look at and also there's a discount code in the description area below wfy youtube and you get 20 percent off any template uh, here nice yeah so that's it for today's jam session uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next jam session